Um, because you want to help this beast at some point, especially if he doesn't have a good okay, lane. Just go right, the never mind. It, just, it, it gives you control of the win condition, right? Because again, it's still it's that, very good. Yeah, for sure. it's the mid game yeah. you're worried about, and now you remove Bristle as a threat. Like you have break, you can always try to kill the Bristle. Whereas without a break mechanic. Yeah, a nice, a nice choice. We don't, we don't get to see too many aggro tri lanes, but I feel like when we, when we have lately, they've been really strong, especially from Secret. I've been seeing them do it a lot, where they just, they position aggro tri lane and they switch the lanes with like a bottle refill or something. I remember that in particular when they were playing the Luna, and Zai was playing the safe flame with Pango, and they did, you know, they broke the tri lane at some point. They refilled bottled and they swapped the whole lanes around, and it worked really well for them. Could be something they look to do again here. Is FNG is actually stuck? Oh. He's, he's stuck is between he, the creeps. They keep blocking him. He's, he's stuck. still stuck. He's, he's stuck. He tried to tango his way up, but he got the tree that was like at an angle. Oh, he I... got the stun to lift the creep up and walk <laughs> through it because he lifted it. He might still be very dead here. He might still be dead. The purge. Yeah, they've got Another him. purge. Oh, oh and, and he a salve. salve. A salve down the drain as well as his life. And uh, they're able to do this because Nyx and Io are also just kind of weak laners in particular. So Nyx gets taken advantage of S4. He gets bullied away by the troll by himself. Uh, yeah, he's doing well. It, it, it's close. I mean, is, is it sort of expected that the, the Death Prophet has a, a little easier time than the Viper in this? First few levels for sure. You start to get harassed back as okay. we see, you know, level three comes out from that Viper. Limp just has better damage. You know, Death Prophet has like a solid 12 damage, better animation, and a way to clear and push the wave in. So it's just, it's nice to play that matchup. You will start to get poked and harassed, and you'll have to get some regen on DP at some point, but you're fine with this matchup as S4. Let's oh, up a bit far. I'm going to start going on him. I've got the stun and S4. He's got the stick charges. Uh, but the, the root. Root's out. They're going to be able to get this kill. Uh-oh. A Bristol who's in his safe lane getting significantly shut down, and he's versus a Viper. That's, That's always probably feels pretty bad for S4. As this... oh, they have got a, a juicy amount stacked up. They do. They are preparing for it. So lanes did go slightly in Secret's favor off of the start here. But they do have a ton of stacks. I mean, Matu, he's going to get the kill on FNG for sure. S4 has to be careful too. He can start to get turned on as well. Let's see how aggressive they want to play into him. They've got, they got the battle trance. They're just going to commit, get that attack speed up, and S4, he's going to go down. It's a double kill for Matu in that top lane. It only gets better and better at the same time down bottom. Hans Ken and Nico Baby were able to take down Zai, so still keeping Nico Baby's game in a good position, but yeah, this top lane, Matu is just getting so much free farm and three kills so far. Is that, wait a minute, one second. Is that S4's actual items right now at eight minutes? He's naked. He is unbelievably squishy. Do you find themselves the, the possessed mask for, for Nico Baby? That will be very nice and, and will allow him to, to clear out these stacks a little safer than with that life still in the buff, uh, buff off with Tether of Hans Kent. Uh, they probably, probably want to do it soon. Mid, S4. I got the raw. End of the finger. He's dead. He, he just can't show himself in a lane. Oh. It's, it's it, too scary. And they use the call down. That's a dead mid tower. They're, they're going to have to bring Limp to try to defend this one. But without call down, it feels pretty unlikely. Very long cooldown that you can take advantage of now. They're going to swing the Nyx in. The books are up. They got to try to stop it and slow it down somehow. FNG actually gonna he's, be able to He's survive. gonna be able to hide, but they, oh. they'll turn their attention away from FNG and look towards top. As Matu's chasing him with the ult. S4, has he got any way out of this? He has not. He just, any lane that he goes to, Secret will kill him off very easily right now. Matu level 11 now at this point. The Gyro, who's now clearing through his stacks, is just level 9, to put in that in reference to just how much they've been giving this troll and how much this troll just have, has absolute FNG freedom. FNG now finally hits 6, so now they can maybe make their own hit, okay. which they really need on Alliance. And this is a big one. They find Matsu, they're coming in, and they're bringing in the relocate. They'll have the firepower surely to take him down. They do. They, they needed that. Is. They are able to find and take down the troll. So he's going to get brought back, though. As it, yeah, we'll just be hands Ken. Just the aisle. He's yeah. not going to take anyone else into this, this setup here from Secret. Only the can be Still a good hit. Slows him down significantly. Gyro will be able to now push out a wave himself a little bit safer. They get this top wave out. Secret, though, immediately, as we said, they set up their, for their own move. Viper going to push out the lane. They get... Alliance is going to try and come in. See what they can find with the smoke the set up. With the stun. And it's going to be TP's coming in. 
He's still alive. He's, he's, he's got an invis. He's able to step out to the side. He turns with the rod straight away onto S4. Matsu moves in. As they're focusing down the bristle, they'll get him. S4 dies. Broken by the toxin and burst down by Yapsil's finger. And the chase will continue here for Secret as they move up to the high ground over to FNG. It's another kill for Matumba Matt. Alliance losing the three of them. As it, it really just seems to be the case that, that because they they don't have that frontliner, they, they really can't take any fights against Secret right now, which is definitely a huge issue for their draft being behind like this. Yeah, just no frontliner. S4 just dies instantly once he gets turned on. And unfortunate for them, they don't have any reveal. As Nisha with the bots able to scurry away, invis and reset the whole fight. They didn't even have to use the hand of God. They just had to use the mech to turn away all that damage. Well, hang on. They, they know Nico Baby's oh, down here. Nico Baby. Oh, oh, oh. He's, he's out. He's out and away. Ooh, oh, oh, was oh, close. Oh, oh, oh. Was close. <laughs> I mean, Yaps with this you know, very early blink with the way things are going. How does he have. Yeah, he has. Yep. 18 minutes, Satanic. They're going to they're gonna start knocking on the high ground a bit. Force the reaction back from Alliance. 18 minutes in. There it is. Now, what can Alliance do to slow this? There we go. 11 minutes, 49, faster than the patch fastest. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, of course, not normally built this early progression, but, you know, still a, a very impressive timing there from Matu. FNG. Nico Baby has to just buy the S and Y to be able to fight because they, they have to fight here or they just lose the game. Secrets is bringing the battle to them. They're poking. Oh, but no. S4. He's trying to get in on this, but he's the, the power of the Viper. He can't even poke. The poison's too strong. As they're just That's losing the barracks. Secret. They can't even. They have exorcism and they can't okay. even walk up and fight. Oh, that's a dead IO. Well, I mean. Alrighty then. On to the next one, I believe, uh, pretty soon. Let's hope game two's a bit closer. I mean. <laughs> I, I honestly, like, Kyle, I. The way Kyle was saying it, where they, yeah. they took the quiz sheet, it, it really did feel like that I guess with the Kyle way they set right, up their yeah. picks. Yeah. Kyle was absolutely right. This Chen pick after the IO, we've seen them do this before. Well, it was actually the IO pick after the Chen. They picked it into it. And Secrets just played their own game and played it perfectly. This aggro tri lane working wonders. They really did. They, 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 you know, they, they made the switch against it, but it it, it, it just felt awkward. You know, it was, it was sort of the best of a bad situation when it came to, to the lane setups for Alliance and and Secret knew that. Uh, they knew that they're coming with a strong draft and, and they're playing like it. And now last hurrah really feels like for Alliance. Trying to get a wrap around this Nyx Assassin into this heavy push lineup. You know, this first pick, Secret have abused it through and through. They're even gonna back up, look to pick up their own bounties. FNG might be able to snag it. Oh, he will. All right, Zanisha's so gonna know that he's standing on top of him. He's racing him. Won't be able to make it faster though. Very speedy bug. Can, how long to to the relocate up? Can they go for something? They got relocate in five. I think they'll get turned on. I don't think yeah, they, they want they to could set go up for onto some this sort fight. of crazy relocate play to try and get a pick off and and open some opportunities up. They might have to try. The thing is though, puppy's gonna run over. Holy locket, Mac and hand to God and heal him for a thousand something HP. Like this is actually over a thousand healing that he can provide onto somebody. So I feel like just making these plays is super difficult. You're just at such a disadvantage. Like Your whole map is just closed way too quickly. You're still away from your big item timings, which like I was saying is the BKB timings for Alliance. They're trying to farm these. Limp as well as the Gyro. Limp is pretty close. Nico Baby's still a ways away. But that that's their biggest timing to be able to fight around. I feel like it's already, it's already been addressed by Secret. This huge lead that they have. Line just has to wait for the looming push. Oh no. That's four. Uh oh, get him out of that. Get him out of that. Gotta protect S4 at all costs here. FNG's waiting. FNG's really waiting for an opportunity on the side here. I don't know if that opportunity is gonna come. I don't know if it's gonna come. Uh oh. Oh, S4. He's in. Nice stun. They're, they're keeping him a little safe with the tether. He's getting low and he's gone. The Absol's able to burst him with a finger. They'll move themselves out of the cooldown. Zai does get stunned before the roar comes out. We're going to see Troll now turn Matsu with the lifesteal. He's standing his ground. He's looking towards FNG. Now he turns over towards them, pops the battle trance. Oh they're my cleaning God. up again, Secret. Three dead. Look at the buffs. 
And yeah, yeah they'll call GG. it GG. Well played, Indy. 22 minutes, 17 for two. As uh, they, this was just another one of those secret games, Fog. It, it well and truly was. The aggro try lane to break the game, to just never let Alliance get their footing. Ruin poor S4, push him into the ground, step on him a little bit too.